guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my top six favorite face masks. Now, I do have normal to oily skin. However, the oiliness doesn't really bother me too much. Um, I just know that it's more oily because my pores are larger and every now and then I will have to blot, but it's very rare. So I am more on the normal side. So I have six face masks that I have been using religiously that I absolutely love. So I do a face mask maybe two to three times a week depending on how my skin is acting up. The first one is a homemade face mask so I don't have the ingredients here with me but I will have a pop up on the screen of all the ingredients. And what I use is just honey, turmeric, and cinnamon and I just mix it all together. I will slather it on my face and leave it for about 10 to 20 minutes depending, like I said, depending on how my skin has been acting up and it is just going to leave your skin feeling so moisturized, so glowy and it's really going to brighten up the skin. So the next face mask I have is the Boccia Charcoal Pore Pudding and this is just a charcoal mask and it is, when you first open it, it is the black and white one and when you mix it all together, it does turn gray and this mask, what I like to use this mask for is I have very acne prone skin so my skin is very very sensitive so whenever I'm just feeling extra dull and whenever I feel like I'm just having little pop-ups here and there I, pretty much out of nowhere I will go in with a mask like this this says to leave it on for about 15 to 20 minutes and then you just wash off so it says um, to pour two-part pore pudding powder by black and white charcoal minimizes the appearance of pores while balancing the skin Scoop onto face, blend together, leave on for 15 to 20 minutes, and rinse with warm water. So that's what I would do. I would just put this on when my face is just feeling extra grimy and extra gritty. And I'm just having a few breakouts here and there that are usually when I know it's not that time. So something in particular is just making me break out and I can't figure out what it is. I will go in with this. This will just make your skin just so it'll make it almost feel really really clean so I'll use this and after maybe a day or two my pop-ups are completely gone. What we love is the Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask and this is one just like the Boccia. It doesn't have as strong of a charcoal scent but this I absolutely love just as much as the Boccia one. Now this one is a little bit more tender on the skin it's not as intense so this one I will actually leave on for maybe about 25 minutes and then I will wash it off this one I like to use when my skin is feeling like the Boccia one a little bit grimy and gritty but not as much so when I'm just feeling like I, my skin just needs a little bit of a pick-me-up I will go in with this I also have the Boccia Luminizing Black Mask this is the most painful mask I have ever used in my life but I have to say that it absolutely works. What I mainly like to use this mask for is right before I shave my face. So yes, I do shave. Um, I do shave my face usually about twice a month. I will go in and just whack off all of the baby hairs or little stubble that I have. And I like to use this right before I do that. So I find that if I wash my face, get all my makeup off, and then I go in with this, and then I shave, my skin is so baby smooth and there is not a blemish, a spot, no, there is nothing on my skin. This will help minimize your pores as well as get rid of any blackheads that you're having. It says an innovative peel off mask that helps boost skin clarity and helps minimize the appearance of pores, removes dirt and impurities, absorbs excess oil and re re reveals a healthy glowing complexion. To use, apply a thick opaque even layer to clean dry skin, avoid Eye areas, leave on for 30 minutes until completely dry. Gently peel off outer edges and rinse off any residue. Use once or twice a week. So I do not use it that often. I usually only use this. This is actually the um, this is actually the sample size and it's still about half full because I don't use it very often. Like I said, I only shave once or twice a month, so that is when I will use this. Just be warned, it is it's an absolutely amazing mask but it is so painful but I do love it so the next face mask I have is the S Chlor Chlorophyll Lifting Mask now this mask is more for tightening and just making your skin feel hydrated and firm that's the word 
this is going to firm the heck out of your skin. And what's funny about this mask is it's actually a green color. So let me see if I can pop off the top without making a huge mess. It's, it almost smells like, it almost smells like aloe vera and with a little bit of a flowery perfumey, perfumey scent. Now, the back doesn't really say any of the claims. It just says that it is paraben free. And that is because we actually got this in a BoxyCharm forever ago. And I actually, this is the same, um, this is the same box. And I used the entire bottle, but I love this so much that I did purchase the full size from the website. Um, because in the middle of me using this was when my face started acting up really, really badly. So I started using a lot of the charcoal mask. And this just sat for a while and I was scared to use it to... I didn't know if it had went old that I didn't want my face to break out again. But I did purchase the regular, the real... Well, not the real one, but I did purchase the one from their website. You leave this on, I want to say it's between 15 to 20 minutes, maybe 25, and you can feel this tightening. So what you're going to do is you're going to just take a thin layer and you're just going to apply it all over your face and you're going to let it sit. Now as it sits, just like with the charcoal mask, it's going, it's going to harden or it's going to harden. And as it hardens, you're literally not going to be able to really move your face or talk. It's so funny. Whenever I have this mask on, I literally can't talk 10 minutes after it's on because my face is so tight that whenever I talk, I can feel like the mask almost breaking or, or slitting. So after I rinse my face off with this, I can feel the tightness. I'm assuming this is more of like an anti-aging mask, but I absolutely love it. Last face mask is from Fresh and is their rose face mask infused with real rose petals, hydrates, and toned. I want to say we got this. No, we did not get this in a box drop. This I got as a sample with one of my um, with one of my Sephora orders, and it says it is. Oh well, that's in a different language. Um, it says apply to clean. Cleans. Apply to cleanse moist skin, avoiding the eye area. Leave on for 5 to 10 minutes and rinse with water. Can be used daily. So I will use this if my fin, fin, I will use this if my skin is feeling a little bit dry. So if I'm not having any random breakouts, but I want to go in with something that's really hydrating, I will use this. And it's just more of like, it almost, oof, it almost looks like honey. It's like the consistency and the color of honey. But it, you can definitely, definitely smell the rose. This will act, this will just leave my skin glowing. Once I'll put this on, it says to leave it on for about five to ten minutes. So I'll put it on. I'll leave it on for about five to ten minutes. And when you take it off, you can literally see your face is just brightened and it's just glowing and it just feels absolutely so moisturized. So, all right guys, so that is it for this video. These are all the face masks that I absolutely swear by. But like I said, I would just go into rotation with these masks just depending on what my skin is doing and how it's feeling. Um, so for the, so I know that one, now that summer is coming, I'm gonna be using a lot of the rose mask and the honey mask that I make. Um, because during the summer, my skin gets very, very dry. I'm actually gonna probably go in, I'm actually probably gonna go over the charcoal mask tonight, tonight because I don't know what is going on with my skin. I did wanna film a skincare routine for you guys, but I seen a lot of beauty gurus do those without makeup, and I absolutely love that, but this face is not getting on camera bare. So just bear with me, guys, that is coming. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you've used any of these masks, let me know down below how you like them. And if you have any recommendations, let me know that as well. I'm always looking to branch out and just find new things that can really help my skin. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.